What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Adventures in Drunk Fish Keeping. Um, middle of the day moving the tank, so no drunk part of the drunk fish keeping. I was giving you guys a quick shot of the tank, doing the breakdown. Um, so one thing I would recommend when you're breaking a big tank down, has a lot of stuff, buckets. Home Depot lows, they're two or three bucks a piece, get some lids. So what I've done, what I recommend doing when you're moving tanks, I've taken several of my jugs and taking direct tank water out of it. Right now I've got, you know, four jugs full of tank water. Then I've got all my rock that has coral attached to it in these buckets with more of uh, current tank water. And um, then I've got my loose coral that was more of the sitting stuff like my bottom plate stuff and my turbinarian there. Um, and now I'm going to take the bulk of my rock, put another bucket or two buckets with tank water in case there's any crabs, snails, anything living in there. And then I'm gonna fill another bucket up with water and I'm going to catch my fish and put them in there and then finish breaking the tank down by taking the lights and the power heads, all that stuff out of it, drain the remaining water and you know get the water out of the sump so it can be moved <coughs> and then refilled. So I'll be bringing you guys more updates as we go back together with the tank and continue breaking it down.